Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you how we can use Monday calendar. Actually, I'm going to be showing you like a lot of things that we can use here into Monday. Now, Monday is a great application for uh, project management for your own uh, your own ideas for your own projects for your own purposes if tasks and all that So I think it's really great to have monday.com I'm gonna leave you a, a link guys down below in the description if you want to have the free trial version of Monday and Here I'm gonna be choosing the task manager because I want to go for task manager project management and go for creative and design and hit into get started so now what I want to do is to enter my email, hit into continue, and now I'm going to enter my full name, round, and create a passcode. And after I create a passcode, I just need to have an account name. I'm going to leave it like that. And hit into I agree to the terms of service and go into continue. Like really, really easy, right? Now. I want to choose this is for work and I am a business owner. I'm going to hit into continue. I have a small people of, from two to five. I am working with 119 continue. I just need to uh, do this real quick. because I'm going to be showing you the workspace. Now the workspace here is going to be asking if I do not have any workspace and so I can create one. Uh, uh, once I am creating an account here into Monday, once I created my account into Monday, so what would you like to manage into the marketing 2023, which is that's the name that I created. I'm going to hit for campaigns, go into next, and here's a group, a way to easily cluster your campaign. So it says this month, next month, I think this is going to be working for me. I'm going to hit into next. Now campaign number one. Each row represents a single campaign. So let's say, for example, this is just a campaign for Instagram. Another one is a campaign. I'm going to just choose the main target of my socials, which is actually this one, and hit into get started. Now the board has been created successfully, right? So what I want to do is that if I want to mainly work into the calendar from Monday, here I do have the timeline. Right, so I'm going to go into the main table and here is going to be looking different options so I can see my workflow in different ways. So if I go into add view, I want to choose the option that says more views. And as you can see, we do have the dashboard, I do have the Gantt, the timeline, the files gallery, the map, workload and the calendar. And there are so much more now, but we want to focus only into the calendar, right? So view dates from your boards in the calendar. I want to choose open and board. And here is my calendar. If I want to change the name, I can actually do that. I don't want to focus on that. And here I'm going to go into got it. So what I can do here, if I want to add widgets, let's say for more integrations, I can do that. Let's say, for example, that I want to add some files or I want to add some charts or numbers. Or if you want to add something else, go into more widgets. Let's see what the widget center of Monday can offer to us. I do love to use the to do list. Actually, I can see it in here. It was really, really easy to do that. If you are working with a specific customer or a client and you want to, uh, if, you, if you hired someone and you want to track the time, you can add that in here. I was mentioned uh, here's the calendar the get the timeline I want to focus only into the to do list and I want to add this widget so below the calendar I do have this widget of the to do list I'm going to hit to add the widget hit into battery this is like the progress that we are uh, doing here the green bar is for the done and the yellow one is for the working on it and last thing I'm going to hit into add widget and I'm going to be adding the one that I think that might be working for me, which that would be the workload. And here we go. Here is our tools. I can just move that from one place into another one if I want to customize that for my own, for myself. Uh, speaking about the calendar, I can choose a specific date. For example, let's say that today we are in the 12th of the, of the 12th, right, of December. So let's say that I want to do something for today, which is actually here. I'm going to hit into add. 
and here into the new item I'm going to be creating a Facebook campaign or Facebook ad number one and this is for this month the person I'm going to be selecting myself the status I'm going to get into working on it and the date that will be today I'm going to create into create my campaign so as you can see here is the task that has been already added if I choose this task what's going to happen here now if I click once again below my calendar the date that I'm created the item I'm going to be creating a new item so what I can do here into the calendar is to choose more and more tasks to be done and here into the to-do list what I can choose is to go into these three dots and choose the full screen if I want to create a new task and I want to customize this task so for example I'm going to hit into create the video create a video create a video for Facebook at number one and hit into enter so I just need to go for it hit into the clicked and complete is going to be appearing in the so there it is there's my workload something that I just made actually today now that's the reason why you want to focus into the calendar here into the calendar you can see like really easy what you have to do like the whole week the whole month how it's going to be your personal work added in here so as you can see this color is for the marketing 2023 so if you want to add something more you can do that but in my case I only do want to focus into this specific campaign now if I go into my timeline what I can do is to see something like much more uh, explicit space speaking about the calendar because we are on the almost 1 p.m. and here's the today list so if I'm just starting to making a task here into the timeline it's going to be appearing how much time have I spent it today so it's going to appear in here if I want to out of fit that um, you can do that in my case I don't want to focus in them and here of course is the main table of the campaigns of the tasks that I need to solve to have this already done if I clo close this uh, option so I have the multiple items at once I'm going to hit into status and choose done and then I'm going to choose status and hit done and as you can see this part of this month has been successfully done so I'm good to go right so that's the reason why we we do love to use calendar I think this is going to be really useful for you if you want to actually filter some specific columns so I want to see person's name only for Facebook I can see those and as you can see I'm going to just close this for a second and this is going to be just appearing the tools the to-do list of Facebook because I've just filtered those because uh, it's going to be really, really easy to use the calendar. So now that you guys know how to use the calendar, now you guys know how to use those widgets inside Monday, I'm going to leave you with the 93 day trial of this great application. Once again, you do have the link down below in the description. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this great tool, about this great application for project management. Uh, thank you once again so much for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. See you soon.